Encanto, A Tale of Three Sisters, is a great book that I really enjoyed. I read it once, and it's in my top three most favorite Encanto books, along with Antonio's Amazing Gift and the graphic novel. Don't ask me which of the three I like best. That's like having to pick whether I like Luisa, Mirabel, or the third one. Wow, how did I forget Isabella's name? Wow, I'm just going to start this video with me forgetting the name of one of the narrators? Okay. This book came out in February 2022. Unless I'm wrong, it's four months after the movie came out. I wonder if the author got a chance to see the movie before writing the book. The book is narrated by all three sisters. Mirabelle narrates every other chapter, while Isabella and Luisa switch between each other. That alone makes this book interesting. I enjoyed seeing the story from someone else's point of view. It adds flavor and changes what's going on. Isabelle is a good example, because in the movie, she's really mean to Mirabelle. Those scenes come across differently when we actually hear what Isabella's thinking. She's a lot nicer, and she feels bad for Mirabelle. Isabella has an internal struggle between wanting to help her younger sister in wanting to be the perfect child who always does what Abuela wants. That's pretty different from the movie, where Isabella angrily rolls her eyes at Mirabelle. Isabella might be a little too nice in this book. The book has the scene where she orders Mirabelle, Say sis, I want not a sound out of you. That rude moment doesn't fit perfectly with the earlier scenes of Isabella concerned about Mirabelle's hurt feelings. I like the Isabella parts, they were great. My only complaint is that Isabella doesn't narrate during the failed proposal scene. That's a Luisa chapter. That should have been an Isabella chapter, right? I want to know how Isabella feels about her perfect proposal being ruined. I like Luisa more than Isabella, but I liked Luisa's chapters less than Isabella's. Luisa's supposed to come across as overworked, but she comes across as a little dumb. I suppose it was harder for the author to capture Luisa's voice because Luisa doesn't appear much in the movie. She has a big scene where she sings a song. Other than that, she's only in group scenes. The same is mostly true for Isabella. Since they don't play a large role in the movie, Isabella and Luisa narrate chapters where they're background characters. For example, Luisa narrates the start of Antonio's gift day ceremony. Isabella narrates the end of Antonio's gift day party. In the movie, we don't really see what Luisa and Isabella do during those parts. The author comes up with perfectly plausible scenarios for what the sisters were doing during the times when they didn't appear in the movie. I actually liked seeing Luisa in her room, and Luisa dealing with the villagers. As for Mirabelle's sections, they're fine, they work. But as I've explained, I was far more interested in Isabella and Luisa's sections, because they're new and different. Mirabelle's stuff is less new and different, it mostly follows the movie. I would say the book follows the movie, but there are a lot of little changes. Camillo shows up far more often. There's even a scene where he worries Mirabelle is going to ruin his magic powers the same way she ruined Luisa's powers? That's not in the movie at all! I really like the scene of the family members discussing the situation when Mirabelle's not around. There are a lot of little changes. Characters will say things differently, or something new will happen. Like, instead of Luisa's eye twitching all night long, she was sweating all night long. And Isabella's got a doormat made of flowers. When Mirabelle approaches her room, Isabella changes the flowers, so the doormat says, Go away! That's different and interesting. I really liked all the new, different stuff. It's a refreshing change of pace from the other Encanto novelizations, that follow the movie word for word. I enjoy how the author is creative and expands the story, putting a unique spin on things. Like the other Encanto books, this one does not include the songs. Instead of singing Surface Pressure, Luisa has a conversation with Mirabelle. We Don't Talk About Bruno is also a conversation. It works fine that way. 
I think that's all I have to say about this book. It was a great novelization of the movie Encanto. I especially like the parts narrated by Isabella and Luisa. I always prefer novelizations like this one and Anna's Icy Adventure, which put their own spin on things instead of regurgitating the movie in book form. I give Encanto, A Tale of Three Sisters, a 10 out of 10.